Hello everybody and welcome back to more Isaac. I just got the best Eden Star ever. I re-rolled through three runs just to get something interesting. And, believe it or not, we're walking on air. We got Death Certificate off the bat. So we have to make the most of this and grab a really intriguing modded item. That's my, uh, that's my assessment of this. I mean, also for one, we do get a lot of stuff like just off the bat here um for like random room drops that you get in this area so we'll try and grab as much as we can oh ooh, ooh. don't pick up those they can teleport you so i mean there's sacred heart obviously we could just grab us our sacred heart it's what's what's that anemic anemic's looking a little different there um but we're looking for the modded stuff really if we find an item in a chest by the way do not take it that would be very 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 silly that's a bit weird we've just got two items in one of these rooms that's very odd um, okay, so we're starting to come on to some of the modded items now. We've got to decide what's going to be interesting. I mean, we could take Glitch City. That's actually an item I want to showcase at some point. Periodically spawns glitch tiles. While held, will destroy rocks, blocks, projectiles. While held, every minute and a half, another random item will turn to Glitch City. Basically, it just takes over your whole run. I really like the idea of that, but it doesn't seem as interesting when you don't have items. So I'm going to uh, hold off on that and look for other potentially interesting modded items. We've got some interesting stuff in here, by the looks of it. We can pop this. Um, I'm just not sure what sort of thing we're looking for, really. And maybe some of the tainted treasure items could be fun. If we can find some of those, that could be interesting, because some of those could be pretty wacky, and obviously we don't need the prerequisite items to make them work. We've got a D4 if we'd wish to re-roll, but I very highly doubt we will. Hello, hello. We got our planetarium items. We got good old stairway that could be interesting as it is. Good old bingy. Okay, so we're into the we're into the big boy rooms now. We're into the big boy rooms. This is still all vanilla. This is still all vanilla. We are looking for something that's really gonna be very interesting. Is that TM Trainer up there? That is TM Trainer. It looks a bit different than normal. Obviously, we could take the obvious um, rock bottom. But I want to do something a little more intriguing than just rock bottom, you know? Everyone chooses rock bottom. This could be pretty good, to be honest. Risk reward is very, very fun, especially the earlier you get it. Uh, the crimson stick. Explosions near walls open doors to red rooms. Oh my goodness. That is very intriguing. The Crimson Stick. Hmm. That is very, very interesting. Bombs will open red rooms. Now we'd need... Oh, <laughs> that's kind of funny that I can get stolen straight away. We've also got another interesting item here in all items being uh, mysterious gifts. That's a that's a rather interesting one. But that the, the red room one is, is sticking with me so far. That seems like a real good contender to me. We've also got Spirit of Acceptance here, which can be absolutely busted. Um, applies permanent curse to the blind. All pedestals are hidden. Each time you pick up an item, there's a 50% chance that items will spawn. Uh, it'll spawn an extra item, um, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I, I really think this um, this is going to be good. I mean, the one caveat to that is obviously we need a decent way of getting numerous bombs to make it work. If we could get Dr. Fetus, <laughs> then we'd be rolling. We'd be absolutely rolling. So that would be amazing. But we'll come to that decision when we get to it. Um, so far, not much to see. We did get a bomb there. That's what I like to see. Right, we've still got plenty of rooms to see. We've got C-section there as well. But vanilla items, I'm just... I've, I've had my fill of vanilla items. I'm sure you guys have too. Tacos, just very, very good all stats up. Nothing particularly amazing about it. Um, we've seen Packs of the Beast before. Got some interesting stuff here. Sinner's Scar. What the hell's this? Interesting. Mum's foot constantly tries to get you, but you get a big stat up. That seems kind of funky. Open up another one of these. Again, remember, if it's an item, do not take it. Okay. This is what I love about this as well. You just get such a, a wide sort of variety of looking into items you may not have seen before. Because you get to see every item. There's all of them here. There's all of them. What is this little burny thing up here? I can't I can't get the description of it to pop up. 
But I, I, I think, I think I've made my decision. I think we're gonna go back and we're gonna, we're gonna still check the other rooms here because the amount of stuff in them that we want. But I think we're gonna take the, um, the bomb thing there. Almost picked up a random item there. That would have been very stupid of me. So one thing about this area, about getting death certificate, is just the absolute panic that sets in every time you accidentally get near an item. I do not want to accidentally walk into anything. That would be absolutely tragic. There's still so many rooms. There's still so much to see. We get a D6. I think I'll take that. Thank you. There's still so much to see. We get different breakfast items here. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen any of these breakfast items before. Maybe they need to be unlocked or something. Because I don't remember seeing them. Some interesting stuff in there. Be funny if you could get birth certificate in here. <laughs> birth certificate into another birth certificate. Okay, so here's some of our tainted treasure item room items, which can be pretty wild. There's some pretty interesting ones in here. Don't think there's anything in there that we want right now. I'm pretty sure that item down there, the uh, this one, TM Trainers. Yeah, TM Trainers all of your items and re-rolls you when you die, which I think is actually a pretty cool idea. My god, what an interesting start to a run. But anyways, which item would you choose? That's my question for today. On a death certificate, vanilla or modded, what would be your go-to item? I, I feel like every time I get death certificate, I always have to try and pick out something new. I always have to try and, and sort of not just take the obvious. But I know that some people, obviously, when you get this situation, you've got to just go for what, what is best. There's Godhead there, of course. Just can't believe there's still more rooms left. This is ridiculous. There's so many rooms. It just keeps going. <laughs> it just keeps going and going and going. We're not like, we've not even seen the vanilla items yet. Wow. Hey, here's some more of these. This item we've seen before can be pretty mental. I just love the idea of being able to infinitely go to red rooms as long as you have enough bombs. That seems quite ludicrous to me. Another bomb somewhere in here. There it is. Another chest there. Another bunch of good items there. What's this little TV-looking golden thing here? Um, items that give you heart containers also give plus two soul hearts. Ooh, wow. That's very good. That is very, very good. It's just... It never stops. It never stops. I'm just... I am checking just in case there's, like, another thing. I mean... Brainworm again. I seem to be getting brainworm pretty regularly at the moment, and we like it. I wonder if there's any way, any item you can pick up that doesn't count as being picked up so you can get more than one. I don't think there is. I can't imagine what that would be. But it would be interesting. You got the Bombonomicon there. Checking these potential soul hearts. We've got what looks to be one room left, but I imagine it's going to be probably like seven or eight more rooms. I just, I, I, like, even though I don't need to do this right now, I think it's interesting to just take a look at all the items we have installed. But also, I think it's just, like, kind of fun to sort of just get an, an actual mapping on how crazy this is. How crazy it is to see every single item all lined up. And there's our last room. This is another item I was contemplating. Evangelicalism, uh, evangelicalism, evangelical. I don't even know. Um, but I think I've made my decision. Although it's definitely not the most powerful of the items, it's still because it, it doesn't guarantee the potential to be really good. I think it's definitely one of the most interesting. Uh, Red room runs are always a lot of fun, so I'm gonna take it. I just have to remember where the hell it is now. I know it's somewhere all the way to the left. I just can't remember exactly where all the way to the left. I think it's if I go down from here, then up this little sort of left avenue. All right, because I just remember the curse penny and going past that. I'm kind of glad I left that where it was. I think it's maybe this next room. No room after this? No. This room? No. <laughs> this room? Damn it! Okay, I've lost it. I've lost it. I don't know where it's gotten. <laughs> oh, god damn it. I just remembered the cares penny. I don't remember anything else about where it was. It must be down below. Oh, wow. This is... Is it down here? No. <laughs> oh, my god. You see how that veil of darkness there actually made the room dark. That item's got like its 
own unique property where it makes the room dark when you're in the when the items in the room with you. Okay, we have to be near it now. I remember the mammoth guy. <laughs> we spent what is it like ten minutes of this episode just walking around the items. But what an interesting start to a run. You can never really ask for much more than this, can you? you can never really ask for much more than this. There it is. Crimson Stick, plus five bombs, explosion near walls, open doors to red rooms. Let's give this a go and see if it works the way I think it works. So the, the only problem with this is we don't have a way of knowing where the red rooms are. But for example, if we... Yeah, there you go, baby. There you go. That was a bit of a bit of a rude hit there. Opens up into our secret room. Ooh, a golden penny. Very nice. Um, oh, I got Cares Penny there. Yeah, the, the only problem I'm noticing now is, yeah, we're going to have a little bit of a hard time knowing where our red rooms are. So we're going to waste some bombs, potentially, actually just trying to find our red rooms. Now, one thing that obviously interests me is if I can get, like, a Dr. Fetus or anything that's going to give me a more reliable way of gaining bombs. Even just a bomb bag, a sack of bombs, whatever it's called, would be very, very nice. Burger bombs would be very, very welcome. Uh, there's, there's, there's many, a, many a way that I could, I could see this being very good for us. Okay, that was a very wasteful little penny there. Are we on an Excel floor here? No, it's just a general, genuinely fairly big floor. So let's try this out for size. There you go, there's another red room, baby. There's a bomb back as well. And there it is, that's what we're looking for, each floor, of course. Oh man, these spiders. When you have low damage, these spiders are absolutely awful. The damage isn't terrible, but it's, it's not ideal. Um, bucket of HP, rerolls all our HP. I uh, think that's good. We do have three glass D6s on this floor now, which is kind of interesting. Um, so I'm, I am going to be potentially doing quite a lot of rerolling on the item room. Oh, but yeah, I, I like this. I like this a lot. This this this, this item choice already is uh, is feeling like the right one. It just, it doesn't completely overtake the run. It's not like a Sacred Heart where, like, nothing else you get for the rest of the run really matters. Because Sacred Heart's always fun on occasion, but it is definitely one of those items where, like, one, like once you've got it, you, you, you've basically, that one item wins you the run. It doesn't matter what else you get for the rest of that run. Whereas this, we could still lose this run if we don't get good items, we don't play well. But it adds some intrigue and some potential into the run that's, that's pretty interesting. And like I said, it, it all kind of... Crux is on has been able to get more ways of getting bombs. I mean, at the minute, we're doing a fine and dandy job of getting bombs here. Heart transplant. Um, charges over three seconds. Um, each use... Nah, not really my sort of thing. Drop a pill of sedatives at every floor after clearing six rooms as additional reward. Interesting. Interesting idea. Pill of sedatives. That's pretty good, too. We'll take that. Okay, remember to go back and get those D6s. Do not leave those behind. Okay, we got that our B shot coming in, which is quite fitting for this this little floor layout here. Quite fitting indeed. The hived cellar. I love the fact that when they, when they brought um, Fiend Foley to Repentance, they changed the hive floor from being a floor variant to just being a type of room you can come across. Because before it was a floor variant, and the B floor. They were awful. They were really, really difficult. See, I want to bomb that 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 uh, thingy Nikolai Keeper, but I also don't. Oh, that's just a secret room. <laughs> this isn't what I was looking for at all. Okay. So can I then bomb here? Nope, that's not going to work. What I need is a cracked key. A cracked key will tell me where all my red rooms possibly are. Ooh, Siren's Call. Yes, please. Pet Rock? Hell yes. <laughs> the best familiar to ever live. Hell yes. But yeah, the more that we can get the, the, the themes into this bomb run, the better it's going to be for us. I'm really hoping we can get some interesting items to go alongside it. And our boss item is going to be rerolled. Yeah, I'll take it. I will um I will go back and get the other thing either. I wonder if this is a red room here as well. Let's give it a go and just see. 
It is. Hazard. Remember as well, red rooms can be devil deals, item rooms, shops, all sorts. So the potential chance of us getting other stuff alongside this is pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting indeed. Okay. Away we go. Yeah, if we can get anything that gives us better mapping on our red room, or if we get anything... So, sedative pill here. Plus 3.5 damage. The damage wears off over 23 seconds. Applies solace, um, solonance, sol solonance to Isaac and all enemies in the room. Okay. Seems pretty good. Don't like the fact that the flies are basically stuck there, though. Especially considering I can't really bomb them. Give me that back, thank you. By the way, Petrock, although he seems just like a cute little useless idiot, he does have the ability to pave over gaps. So if you push him into like a, a pit, he will pave over the gaps. So it means that you you technically get some pseudo flight, some very, very slow, very, very slow pseudo flight by having him on board. So he's not completely useless. And also as well, I mean, he's a pet rock. He's the cutest thing you've ever done seen. So don't disrespect him, all right? Don't disrespect me. Hey, there you go. There's another sedative. Okay, I quite like this idea with the sedatives. Seems good. Don't like the fact that it slows me so much, though. I'd, I'd prefer it if, um, if it didn't slow me so much. I thought it said my damage faded over 23 seconds. What happened to... Was it not 23? Did I misread that? What happened to 23 seconds? That was like 5 seconds. Big chub, I'm gonna reroll that plastic bag I'm more interested in, thank you. Um, and I will place a little bomb here. Baby, it's a devil deal. And it's one that I shall take. Good, good, good. And then what's up here? Oh look, it's another red room. See, the good thing is, there's a chance that we get, um, that we... Ooh, beautiful. I, I, I wonder if those bombs... Dude, I didn't even think about that. I wonder if those bombs work. Tower cards and stuff should work. Oh, this is... Curse of the Tower is actually going to be pretty good if we can get it. Ooh, I'm intrigued. The possibilities here. Ho, 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 the possibilities. I like it. I like it. It also means checking for secret rooms is a little more rewarding as well. Because if you miss, it doesn't matter. You could still get something good. Good old apple. I can't believe we've got a devil deal already. And a pretty decent one too. We didn't have an active item, a decent book to fill the gap. I like it. I love it. I would like some more of it. As I said previously, but yeah, it, we need to be watching these bombs, these these um, poop bombs when they drop. Because if if they do drop and I can manage to push one into a wall, I want to test if they if they inherit my bombs' abilities. I don't think they do, just based off past experience. But I I can't rule it out. I can't rule it out. It seems too interesting. Oh, that guy's invisible. I don't think I've seen an invisible champion before. Yeah, this item's really, really good. I can't believe it's quality too. Like, there's poop slick all over the floor that gives us bonus stats and the chance to drop those bombs as well. I've not been to our shop yet, but let's do this first. Okay, this, this, this whole... Oh my god. Hello. Hey, we got a bomb back for that. Lovely. Yeah, this whole Solomon's thing giving us ridiculously low speed is uh, not ideal. Not ideal at all. Lovely lump of coal. That's exactly what we're hoping for. Right, go back. I need to check my shop because I think bomb bag can be sold in shops. Can it? Can it? I can't remember. But still, we've got plenty of keys. It's worth taking a, taking a little check. Hey, more bombs, lovely stuff. Moving box doesn't do a whole hell of a lot for us. I'll just buy that, I think. Okay. I'm, I'm glad that Bert, uh, we're two for two on the ultra secret rooms so far. I, I'm, just, I'm just, at the minute, I'm just hoping and waiting for some sort of interesting bomb synergy that's going to allow us to sort of break through, so to say, and 
really make things a bit more interesting. I mean, so far, they're already pretty interesting. This has paid out pretty nicely. But I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Oh, one moment. We had the briefest of crashes there, but it doesn't seem to have mattered all that much at all, so we're okay. Ah, oh, bomb, damn it. I need I need one of those to drop at the end of a room. Ba -dun 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 -dun. That's just a secret room. This isn't what I was looking for at all. But now at least I can, like, bomb here. And that's just a... Uh, I mean, care room's fine, but... Oh! It works! It works! Hell yes! Hell yes! Okay. Damn it! I was a little bit off with that one. If I can time it right, I don't know if it's luck-based is the only thing. But if I can time it right, I can make this work, and I'm very, very happy about that. That is really, really cool. Obviously, it depends on where the enemy is, and if it's a red room available, and if I can get the bomb in position in time. There's a lot of ifs. There's a lot of ifs. But the potential is there, and I love that. The potential is there, and I love that. Um, Mr. Me? Interesting. Mr. Me explodes, doesn't he? Does, would that work? I think I'm going to save up for a 9 volt, to be fair. Two room charge on this active seems very, very good. Ah, uh, 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 oh, I need my, I need higher speeds. So I can get out of the room in time to reset the bombs timer. That's going to be the key here. Obviously, the thing is, like, a uh, thingy's not always going to drop. A bomb's not always going to drop, but the the chance is there, as I said. Again, we're just finding regular secret rooms at this time, and it's not, not what I'm looking for. I can't remember how you destroy these. I think I can destroy them with bombs, right? So if I push you down there, and I push you down there also, and I bomb right here, that does not destroy you, but it does open up a red room for us. Lovely little red rooms. Ah, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that this little synergy, even though it's not the most, like, practical synergy ever, the fact that it even works at all, I'm pretty hyped about. The, the potential, the potential of this run is just wild. Um, go back and get the shop item first, shall we? Yeah, the potential of this is just potentially, potentially, potential, potential, potential. It's just, I just, I, I can't believe it. It's going to be, it's going to be amazing. I really hope we get some cool items to work alongside this. I'm trying to think who else would, like, what else would be really, really good for us here. Dun, dun. Okay, you're not going to do much to me, are you? Hey, there's an extra bomb. I'm liking the extra bomb drops. I gotta say, liking that at least. Ooh, Tech 2, I think we'll take Tech 2. Does Tech 2 work with Brainworm? Yes, it does. I thought it did. Ah, uh, yet again. I need to be more reactive, and I definitely need more speed to make it work. Especially now that we've got this, um, Tech 2. Tech 2 is a really good way for pushing bombs around. Like, a really, really good way. Uh, I didn't bomb into my thingy room here, my boss trap room, which I should have done. But using bombs on regular surfaces now just feels like a bit of a waste, to be honest. Yes, uh, Tech 2 Brainworm. Any Tech Brainworm is very good, but Tech 2 specifically is very, very nice here. Oopsie. Bad hit, my bad. We haven't found the uh, thingy secret room yet, unfortunately. We are looking and hoping. Where else could it be? Where else could it be? I'm going off of special rooms at the minute, trying to make that work. Could be up from our secret room, although I doubt that. I'll give it a go. My mouse is visible, sorry about that. No, I didn't think so. Ooh, hello. Get a bomb back. We got Virgo as well. Wasn't expecting that. 
We're getting a lot of rooms that are giving us bombs back, which I, I quite like. Right, um... Where else could we be looking here? Maybe here? What an interesting idea. There you go, baby. There you go. So many chances. And we get hypercoagulation, which isn't very good at all, but eh, it has the chance. It has the chance to be good. Right, back we go for the boss fight. Very happy to have this. Ah ha ha! See what I mean by pushing bombs? Like, I pushed his bomb back so fucking easily there. We're doing great damage to him as well. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. And we get Fraudulent Fungus. Lovely stuff. I like that. And then we also get... Is this... Is this Guppy? Is this Guppy? It is. Wow. Okay. Very, very nice. That's not happened to me before with uh, with reflected items, but very happy. I will not be double bombing into there because wasting two bombs on that just feels like blasphemy. But we are uh, we we are guppy now as well with with tech two by the way tech two guppy. Mm -mm -mm. Pretty spicy. This is annoying. Wow, you're gonna be like that? This is very annoying. As far as a room goes, I do not like this room. Secret room seems to be here. Nope, it's a red room. Hey, there you go. Oh, we got another one there. You see that, but it didn't actually bomb through to anything. I will use a bomb on this because health is good. We got a lot of bombs out of that. <laughs> I like to see that little old Harlequin baby. Not the best. Oh, we got flight now as well. I forgot we have flight. Beautiful. Bomb here. Nothing. I really hope we get a cracked key from one of those special rocks at some point. Because that'll tell us exactly where possible red rooms are. So that, that exact situation where a waste of bomb won't happen. It is pretty easy to figure it out. I'm just not very good at it. <laughs> I need to be using our book more often when it's once every two rooms. But this is uh, a pretty beautiful run. Look at all our little swimmers. Maybe here? Let's try that out. Nope. Damn it. I will do this and try and triple bomb these guys. Nope, I just got contraband. Do I want contraband? I don't think so. I'll, I'll pay 10 to you though and we'll play your little game. I much prefer my book right now. In we go. Come on little maggots. Little leeches even. My god, Brainworm is making this all so easy. I went, by the way, the reason I did this is there's a very good chance we get a good amount of bombs out of this. I mean, among other stuff, but bombs especially we're looking for. There you go. Look, we've got, we've got two bombs, three bombs already, maybe. And obviously as well, we might get an item out of it if we manage to succeed here. There's another bomb. Keys. Wow, that was easy peasy. And our item, it's Eden Soul again. It was Eden Soul goddamn yesterday, or whenever I did last in my video. Ah, oh, but it's... I'm, I'm gonna take it. I love my active I've got right now, but Eden Soul is just potentially so much fun for like getting interesting secret room items. I can't deny that. I cannot deny. How about here? Dude, what's going on with these red rooms? Why aren't these red rooms? Game needs to give up already. Be kind to me. There's my bomb, thank you. There's a bee? Where? We got a little bee. 
Instead of an actual bee, we've got the letter B following us. Papa Flyer, item room items haven't haven't been the most interesting yet, have they? I always get really excited when it opens up a, a treasure room door, then I realize that's just how that works. Got an extra secret room with some butt pennies in it. Thank you. Yeah, the only thing is, like, using bombs on regular stuff like those mushrooms just doesn't feel worthwhile. <laughs> Alabaster box. We've got some interesting actives at the minute. I mean, I should probably buy that battery, honestly. Then I can do something on this floor. It, will that will that secret room up there count as a real secret room? I think it will, right? But I think we don't have to find out because I think this is the normal secret room here. Yes, it is. Boom. Damn it. Both terrible. Little, little disappointed, to be honest. I'm going to see if I can get a reroll for those, but otherwise, a bit of a bust. Lost out on my good active for no good reason. No, no, no. Oh, you stupid bomb. You stupid bomb. I tried my best to move you into a position that made sense, and you betrayed me. Okay. Boss time. Ow. Old bandage. Why not? Let's go get missing page two, just because why not? I would normally shortcut my way in there with a bomb, but our bombs are too precious. Too darn precious. And the mirror key, while it's cool, the mirror key is pretty good. We just don't need it. Actually, to be fair, to be fair, it might be interesting. Once a room can create a mirror dimension door on a wall indicated by a door outline, as it becomes the lost while inside the mirror rooms, regen all pickups, obstacles, and enemies, item pedestals are not regenerated, allow refighting of bosses for an extra boss. Okay, so that at least is pretty good. Um, how exactly does the refighting bosses work? Do I just pop it in here and it lets me refight the boss? Or do I do do I have to do it on a wall here? Okay, there you go. I have to do it on a wall. Oh god, the music just goes hard. The music goes really, really hard. Well, well then. So basically my thinking here, for one, I didn't I didn't know it let you redo bosses, which is why I wasn't that bothered about it. But my thinking here actually is when it's charged, I think it'll actually reveal to us locations in which we can use our bombs. I think the, the walls that are outlined in blue are the same walls that are applied for red rooms. So I think, like, like here for example. Yes, yes they are. This is my main use case. Like I wasn't actually that bothered about the mirror key as, as it actually currently works. But I was thinking... Ha like, I bet I can use it to worm my way into easy red rooms. And it works exactly like that. Okay, this is this is pretty nice. Now we just need more bombs, as I've been mentioning constantly. Bit more money, I guess. Thank you. So we can redo this room uh, like we just did. We are the lost, so we do have to be careful when we redo the rooms. We can redo the room for more bombs and stuff. Which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Tech Zero? Is that gonna work for us? Bomb here. The, okay, no, it doesn't work like that. Okay, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Doesn't quite work the way I thought it would. But we did get a bomb back for that at least. Good, good. Okay. So it's not quite as useful as I was hoping. 
but it does somewhat work. It's kind of partial. Right, keep moving this way. There's a bomb there. We'll do this. Damn you, game. How about this? That's just the regular secret room. We have a lot of money on our hands right now. We've already got guppies. So there's not too much we can get from these rooms. We can get more bombs from these rooms, though. We know that for sure. How does redoing one of these rooms work? I'm curious about how, in, how redoing one of these rooms works. If it respawns the chests or what. That'd be interesting. Let's try it. It does regen the chests. Okay, nice. Unfortunately, they don't contain the same stuff, though, which I was kind of hoping they would. It also doesn't contain the same enemies, either. Puzzle piece. There's that puzzle piece. Intriguing. Most intriguing, indeed. We've got fires coming out now. Crack that open. Damn it! More bombs, please. Always more bombs. I need my cracked key. I'm making too many mistakes with my bombs right now. Also finding too many rooms where I can't actually bomb anywhere. We haven't found our secret room yet. We need to find the Ultra. We've, have we found it on every floor so far? I think we have, right? Maybe we missed one. Shop. Buy a bomb back here. A little more careful here. Damn it, bomb. Um... Damn, it's so hard to know. It's so hard to know if it's going to work or not. Also, the Ultra Secret Room is uh, a little bit tricky this time around. I kind of expected it to be, like, right here. I was sorely mistaken, apparently. I'm really, really liking the setup we got going on with Tech Zero and stuff. The moon, we've already been to the secret room here. Try that out. Second secret room, at least. I could play you, to be fair. I could play you. Oh, I've got hypercoagulation! I forgot! And I got Virgo as well. I got many, many reasons to play this guy right now. Dude, this guy is just not paying out. Virgo, though, has gone again. How are you not paying out yet, my guy? There you go. Good old little horn. And we've got old bandage. Okay, these. this is just free. We're getting so many familiars. Every time we do this, we get a familiar. This is funny. How are you dropping it all the way up there? It's a little unfair. <laughs> Look at all the fucking meat boys we've got. And the tumors. Dude, these guys are taking forever to pay out. We literally have unlimited health and it's barely enough. <laughs> How are you still going, my child? You've taken so much health off of me. There you go. Tiny horn. Okay. <laughs> that was nonsense. 
absolute nonsense. Do the ultra secret room. Reveal yourself to me. Having a very hard time knowing where it is. I don't think it can be here. No, I didn't think so. Damn. Got a little horn though, I like that. Only got five bombs left right now. There's another bomb, lovely. There's a lot of rooms like this where it just can't it can't be in here. So I'm like, so where? I'm maybe out the back of here, potentially. Makes sense. No. We did open another one here, though. That was good. Where haven't we checked yet? We haven't checked up from the shop. Maybe we'll go take a look at that. We're spending a long time on this floor here, but I think it's worthwhile. So it can't be there. I don't think it can be here. No, it's not here either. This is quite the mystery. This is quite the mystery. Because normally it's attached to some sort of special room. We've checked all of our special rooms here. I think. Hmm... I genuinely don't know. We're going to leave it this floor because I just I just can't figure it out. I am defeated. Remember we can redo the boss fight here. Ow. Just got to be careful of that happening. Devil deal? Ooh, hello. Wrath, you could be fun. Seven seals is always good. Oh, yes. I forgot how good Wrath is with Tech Zero. Didn't even mean to do this, but it's very, very good with Tech Zero. Not the best items ever. Mum's underwear and Dad's lost coin. Right, we go. We go. This was an item I didn't even know existed. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, no, not much in here. See, now that, that's, that's what it's meant to be like. And we got Mad Onion. Yeah. We like that. We like Mad Onion. We keep going. But this this floor is like set in stone now. We don't have to worry too much about faffing around. We found what we need to find on the first bomb. Now it's just playing for fun. I mean, it's all fun, but you know what I mean. We got a little thing in your room here. Yes, I like this. It's very good. I'm going to bomb through here as well. See Wagwan over here. Sadly, no more like devil deal rooms or anything yet, which is a shame. You can't expect the world of this. And sadly, no no sort of guaranteed ways of getting bombs, but I feel like we've had a, a pretty decent flow of bombs throughout this run to keep up our to keep up our habits. We've not been at any point where we couldn't afford to use a bomb. Um Polly is not the best, but I'll take it. Why that bomb that there's a fucking thin room right above. I can see it right there. I realize I could be using the mirror key more often, by the way, but it's just, it's one of those items where it's like, unless you really need the consumables, it's quite high risk. I don't need to use it, so it's kind of like, eh. Another red room there. Lovely stuff. Ugh. 
Oh, you see that? The bounce. Oh, that's an error room there. That's an error room. Uh, Aubrey? Aubrey is potentially kind of interesting, although I don't think we have any shops left, so I don't know where she's going to appear. But I'll buy her anyways, because why not? But, um, I think we want to be getting our fool card, which I think I, I think I know where it is, which is a, it's a bit of a walk back. But I think if we hibbity hop back the way to the start, which is actually quite far away, <laughs> looking at it now. Um, our fool card did already spawn, and we can fool card out of the, uh, the boss, and we can then go to the error room to get ourselves some extra little bits. I believe it's here. Yes. I thought I saw it get destroyed earlier. <laughs> eh, another red room opened, dude. Even just this small interaction is making me so happy. The fact that it can chain as well. You see, look, another one. It does seem that uh, the chances for bombs to spawn is luck affected, or at least I feel like I'm getting luckier since I got an increase to my luck. I like it lots. We're just able to open up so many extra red rooms because of it. I think we've, we've probably opened like seven or eight extra red rooms now. Unfortunately, they've all been combat rooms, but red rooms are red rooms nonetheless. Like, I'll, uh, I'll do this. Grab ourselves some extra pennies. few extra pennies here and there. Definitely got nerfed from before. It's still very, very good, but it used to last like three times as long as that. All right, we've got our full card ready. Beautiful stuff. Any extra bombs for me? No, thank you. I don't know what, what would be the deal with doing mum twice with the mirror key. But she's a bit sketchy, so I'm not going to give that a go. I will, however, take the Polaroid. Get the hell out of here. Does mean we've got quite the trek back again, though. I apologize. I do need to just install the Good Trip mod. Or, like, there's another one called Fair Trip, apparently, at some point. I've always been sort of adverse to it, because I do kind of like the backtracking in Isaac. It gives me time to chat, and it's, like, part of the gameplay loop. But at the same time... Eh, in situations like this, it is a little annoying, so maybe maybe I will uh, install it eventually. But this should be error room here. There you go. And we get Bloody Lust and Sanguine Hook, which I actually don't care about. Thank you. And we've got the mod that uh, means that curses are attached to the actual portal down. So one of those was cursed, the others weren't. Actually giving reason to having multiple exit portals now. For the next floor. I really like that. It's a really good change. Right, we've only got four bombs at the moment, so not a ton to work with. The These floors are going to be less so reliant on finding our rooms, to be fair. I think we've already set up our run nicely. More bombs there, lovely. I'll give that a go, why not? Yes! The chain reaction, baby. A chain reaction. Just got to keep it going and hope for the best. And then sometimes it happens in rooms where we can't do anything with it, which is just sad. No red room there, unfortunately. I keep forgetting that I've got guppy flight, so I can get around a bit easier. Oh, we got a few bombs in this room, but sadly no way to use them. Ooh, I will most certainly be trying to grab Lodestone. Thank you very much. Do need a bit more HP. My HP's gotten a little bit low. Lodestone here is very nice, though. We like that. I should do this for more bombs. I do have something pretty interesting to show you guys. The Malstorm thing that I picked up earlier. That I replaced Virgo for. You'll see how that works in a moment. Yeah. Covers the room in saw blades. There was a bomb there that I missed, unfortunately. But, yeah. 
Cover through with Sawblades. Very, very good with tech. Tech Zero makes it quite strong. We've got a very good setup for, like, room clearing at the minute. Another bomb, baby. We're climbing again. We're climbing. Oh, yes. Give it to me. And more bombs the merrier, baby. We do get our item, which is going to be... Hey, it's a pretty good item. I like it. Skulls that rotate around us. Each one of them fires on a periodic time. And uh, they do different effects. They can be pretty good. Thank you for that. Ow. There was a bomb there that hit me. That was my bad. I, I not only got hit by a bomb, I placed a bomb at the same time and kind of wasted it. Hey, lovely little room there opened. And it was not only that. It was the ultra. It was the ultra. Unfortunately, we got jello here, which... Oh, we got one. We finally got a cracked key. Lovely stuff. Now, we have a guarantee of knowing if a bombable surface will give us a red room or not. We don't need to use the cracked key at all. It's just an indicator for us. It's just an indicator. Simple as. But, like, for example, this room here, guaranteed to give us one. Beautiful stuff. This room here, guaranteed to give us one. Don't you just love it? To be fair, now the mirror thing makes it a little more confusing, so we might want to swap out the mirror key. We got Beelzebub, lovely. We already had flight and stuff, but why not? More the merrier. Again, as I said. I would like some more HP, though. My HP is definitely getting a little lax. See, like this, I'd normally think, hey, there's a red room there. There isn't. There is not a red room above us. I know that now. Ooh, I have just noticed Lodestone does suck up the bombs towards enemies, which, while for combat, is pretty useful... Otherwise, isn't great. See, no red room here. Oh, there was a spike rock there. God damn it. Yeah. Little, little scared about my current HP situation, I'll be honest. Luckily, one of my hearts is a burn heart filled with um, a morbid heart, which means that we we can take four hits on that rather than the regular two, or even one for a regular heart. There's a copper bomb, at least. We've got a library and an ultra-secret room, so add a blended heart. Um, Grant's filigree feather trinket effect while hell. Grant's a blended heart. Hold up. Hey, this is very good. Okay, we'll be taking this. <laughs> and we got this as well. Lovely little bit of packed. Thank you muchly. Right, now there's a lot less confusion with uh, mirror key giving us uh, indicators on walls as well. Oh, you're friendly. I forgot about Be Beelzebub. I forgot about Beelzebub. Right, missed out on a bomb there. You, you, why not? I'll bomb this one too. Just to see what's lying in wait for us. Unfortunately, it's an enemy I hate. The fact that we've got health regen now, though, is very, very nice. Oh, we've got free secret room here. With a blended heart there, dude. The health, the health came to us fast. We like it. Beautiful. 
And what you got for us in here? Toy Piano could be really, really good. I'll take Toy Piano. I'll be going up, thank you very much. The only way is up and out of here. Right, last few floors. Shan't have too much worry. Again, also, with, with holding onto a crack key, we can now get a sense of when we get the bombs dropped from killing enemies, the butt bombs, we have a sense of where to actually place them to get something out of it. Oh, dude. The toy piano here. Very, very nice. Because of Tech Zero's, like, triggers, like, because of how fast it hits, it's doing it a lot. Unfortunately, I think it can only do it once or, like, twice. Saw blades coming at you, boy. Yeah. Didn't think you'd be surviving that, my little lovely. Oh, dude. Saw blades get affected by lump of coal? That's wild. That's pretty wild. Mini mush is decent. This can be very good. Seraphim's fine. So give us bookworm. Can't join a bookworm straight away. Um, hold up. Where'd my tech zero? My my. Where'd my tech go? I'm confused as to what I picked up that removed my tech. Hold up. What the hell did I pick up that removed my tech laser? I mean, it doesn't matter at this point, but I'm confused. <laughs> Look at all the bomb flies that are now ours. Quickly grab that. Bomb bag! I've been looking for you forever, and now you show your face to me. Only now you show your face. How dare you? Oh, we found it straight away again. It's the most lovely feeling. Unfortunately, not the best item ever. Still though, we're now on the beeline rush for the boss. We don't we don't care too much. We have had our fun with the red rooms. We've more than had our fun with the red rooms. Oh, look at his legs. Look at his little leggies. We keep using our active as well here. Got no cares on this floor. I don't need to use that to gas unless we want the health, which I don't think we're going to need. I'm just holding up against all the walls so that we can escape as quickly as possible. Mutant spider, I'll take that. I think that's overall more shots fired. A hey, free red room there. Free secret room as well here. Oh my god. This is nuts. Black heart. Bombs. Ahoy. And there's our boss room. Lovely stuff. Close out this run nice and quick. Do saw blades. Saw blades seem very, very good with their uh, lump of coal plus lodestone. Yeah, you ain't, you ain't living, boy. You just stuck to the walls while you uh, enter your next phase. Beautiful stuff. Taken care of, baby. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. What a wacky run. Not what I expected at all for today. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.